when we start getting into more complicated plots, which are composed of several functions, there are some ways that we can express those functions that will make our code a little bit clearer. So we'll take a look at a couple forms of alternate formatting. One thing that we can do is to use what is called global mapping. In the example here, we map the aesthetic for each of the geometries that we wanted to add to the function, to the point geometry and also to the best fit line geometry. If we want to use the same mapping aesthetic for all of the geometries that we're adding, then we can place the aesthetic mapping within the base ggplot function along with the argument that specifies the data that we are going to use. If we do it this way and put it in the basic function, then we can get away with leaving it out of each of the specific geometries that we are placing on top of it. So here we have the same two geometries, point and smooth, but this time we've left the aesthetic mapping out. We do still have to include the method here in the, the smooth uh, geometry because we need to tell it that it's a linear model. If I run this, I get exactly the same plot as before. The other thing that we can do to increase readability besides placing the different functions on separate lines by leaving trailing plus signs is that we can break the functions up themselves by arguments. So if we break up the base ggplot function by putting in a line break after the open parentheses, then we can list the specific arguments on separate lines. So here's the one where we assign the data. Here's the one where we assign the aesthetic as a mapping. Uh, we can even subdivide it by putting a line break after the opening parentheses here and, and put the X and Y uh, arguments on separate lines. You can see that when you do this sort of breakdown by arguments, that our studio is smart and automatically knows that it should indent. So when I'm on the first level of arguments, it indents two spaces, then it indents two more spaces when I am one level deeper into the arguments. It is questionable whether breaking it down at this refined of a level actually makes this code easier to read. So that's kind of a judgment that you'll have to make yourself. Sometimes if you have a very complicated function, it might make sense to break it down according to first level arguments, but maybe not the second level arguments because then you end up with um, very deeply nested code and that might actually turn out to be less readable. So you can use your own judgment about how much you wanna break the functions down into different bits. In any case, if I run this broken down function, I see that it again produces exactly the same plot as it did when I only broke it down with uh, functions on separate lines using the global mapping or when I did it without using the global mapping here. All of them gave me exactly the same plot.